Hello people, welcome to the third episode of my series on Canadian immigration programs in the year 2022. In this third episode, I will mainly be analyzing the CRS pool, total number of candidates, and their distribution according to their score. This is based on the data released by IRCC as of March 14th, 2022, and today is 2nd of April, so this data is pretty much afresh. Uh, one minute before I go into the data, the reason i believe this analysis is important because we need to understand our position as a candidate we need to understand the competition and we need to understand our likelihood of being invited um, in the federal program or in the provincial program this chart represents the total number of candidates according to their um, crs score so at the bottom on x axis i have the crs score and then i have a count of candidates for example in this first bucket i have candidates who have a score of 0 to 300 points and these people are about 5000 in numbers so that's the concept you can understand this chart two things before i dive into this uh, into details first of all we have about 196000 candidates in the pool as of march 14th 2022 and uh, we should also keep in mind if you are watching my previous videos i have been very vocal that the average cut off uh, for invitation under federal programs is 475 points plus minus five points or 10 points right but to the to the most part it is 475 points before the trend shifted in 2022 uh, where they started to focus more on cec candidates versus the fsw candidates all right so keep these two points in mind that we have 196,000 candidates as a total and then and the average cutoff is 475 points for federal program. Now, when we look, when we keep those facts in mind, we can see that we have about um, like 36,000 candidates uh, in the pool as of now who compromise. Oh, sorry, who comprise about like uh, 16 or 17 percent of the total pool. These people have a score of 471 points and above data i could not uh, stratify by stream i mean i mean this like 15000 here for example it includes all the candidates whether they are under cec or pnp or federal i just cannot find the data at the moment so it's total 15000 right but generally the point is these people will get invitation when we have the next row moving to the left side we have people who have a score of 441 points to 470 points and these people are 33,000 in numbers which is basically 17 percent of the total pool these people still have a chance of being invited because sometimes average cutoffs drop by 15 points, 10 points, uh, not more than 15 points, I should say, but something like 5 to 10 points. So these people, especially these 13,000 people, they have a bright chance of being selected. Uh, going towards the left side, they are nearly on the border side uh, or the border lines and they, in my opinion, they should start exploring, uh, for example, programs like PNP we have more people um, about 27,000 people who are about 20 percent of the total pool and these people i would say they have a very grim chance of being invited if they have not raised a federal sorry if they have not raised a provincial profile um, anything below uh, 470 or 60 is a tough fall for a federal program in my opinion or experience based on data i've been analyzing and uh, but the good news is that as long as their score is above 400 they still have a chance of being invited uh, by provinces because as i discussed in the second episode that often many provinces select uh, candidates from the federal pool now i could not figure out what are those factors and based on what they i would say just random selection most probably but they still have a chance of being invited under a pnp so if anybody who is under this bracket and if they have not raised the the pnp profile please do it as soon as possible and to see what provinces you can apply please watch my second episode now these guys um who have a score of let's say below 4400 and these people are like big majority of the of the pool about you can say 15 percent sorry 50 percent of the total uh pool these guys in my opinion have no hopes or at least they should not keep any hope under the federal program they should immediately seek uh streams like pnp and uh, if they are even on the lower side for example if they in case they are below 350 then in my opinion the only legal way to enter canada could be as an investor 
or as a student now getting a student visa is also a tricky affair because uh, i mean they would analyze your profile for example if you graduated for example in 1970s then you know you need to have a solid justification that why you suddenly want to start your education again and then also the student visa is typically limited to the duration of the program and you are expected to return to your home country so at the point of the at the time of final interview the immigration officer who has an authority to, to reject you has to be conv convinced that you will be going back to your home country after the completion of course everybody knows that especially the people from third world countries never go back or very few of them go back but still you have to convince him that or her that you will be going back and once you are there your course is done successfully you can then seek different uh, streams such as pnp nomination and all that this video under, uh, helps you to understand the competition, the composition of the pool and the odds of being invited. Thanks for watching as always and hope you like this video.